Hey guys, Sarah here. So I wanted to share with you something that is really important to me that I've been trying to pay a lot more attention to, and that is my environmental impact on the earth. Um, I've just been looking at more articles. I've had, you know, time off. So I've been taking this time to really kind of research and do some stuff and just what turned into my question of what impact do plastic straws have um, from walking on the beach and seeing straws just sitting there turned into more of a desire to really change my impact on the world and hopefully help others do the same thing. So starting, I mean, I've been doing it for a while, but really starting in the month of March, I am going forward and trying to limit my impact on the earth. So really paying attention to the trash I have, what um, what I buy, is it more eco-friendly or does it have a lot of extra packaging on it? Or, you know, how is everything I'm getting um, being affected? No. Or, you know, what, ooh, my, my light just went on for my garden. Ooh. So I like this light, I'm gonna redo it from here. Sorry, my cat is playing in a box. So that's reusing a shipping box I got for the joy of my kitty cat. But anyways, yeah, just really paying attention to what I'm getting. And I've been thinking about how often I go throw something away. It's not something I really thought about before. Um, I like to think that we do um, waste a lot less than most, but it's one of those little things where with packaging from something or a box or whatever else it is, when I, every time I'm going to the trash can, I'm thinking, why, why? What can I do to avoid this? Um, I probably will not be going 100% waste free. It's going to be a little by little long journey that I will be sharing with you guys as well. But a lot of it is really just being more mindful about what I'm doing. Like I already don't use plastic water bottles. Like I'm very against those. I have a bunch of reusable water bottles. Um, when I have like company, I know it's a big thing to have like water bottles in the guest room. I have um, reusable ones. I try and, you know, plan my trips out. I try, you know, I try not to use paper towels or if I just use them for water, I will reuse them over and over and over again until they die. I am setting up like a compost system. So those, you know, paper towels I do use, I can get rid of and maybe eventually once I run out because I go to Costco, so I have like the giant bag of paper towels. Um, switching to more eco-friendly or now I'm really using more towels and paying attention to that and using disposable stuff as little as possible. Sorry, my cat and dog are just playing on the floor. So excuse any weird noises you may hear. Just really looking at my impact on the environment. I have some um, stuff on Amazon that I have purchased that will be coming shortly so i will unpack that and show you that will really help me regroup my life and there are little changes to help our environment and not be so wasteful um i'm crafty i crochet and sew so i'll probably be doing some of that to make like maybe towels or like face like scrubbies so I don't have to use like the wipe off mascara face room makeup so I don't have to use the wipe off like makeup remover um I think one thing that a lot of people forget about or don't think about when they're trying to be no waste is when they already have stuff to really try and make it through that and then not go out and purchase more because you know one thing I've heard or seen 
or witnessed is people being like, I'm not gonna waste anymore, so I'm not using my makeup remover wipes. And they have half a pack. So that's wasting even without trying to waste. If that makes sense, I think it makes sense. <laughs> anyway, you get what I mean. So using what you have, but knowing when you're using it that it's being wasteful. It was, it's been very mind opening for me through the past month or so after I've kind of gone on this little journey with myself of what I'm getting that I'm wasting. When I go and purchase something, I'm a little more mindful of what I can do with the container. And I'm, I have more time where I can make things myself. I might embark on the pasta sauce adventure. I personally like the ease of pre-made pasta sauce. You just have in the jar and pour in. We have a lot of pasta. You'll see my husband is Italian. So it's super easy meals and they're cheap and I like it. So yeah, now I'm really focusing on what I can do and what I'm doing making an impact. And when, you know, something as little as just making sure you turn out the light when you leave or all your electronics and stuff are on a power strip at night, just turning that off. Um, I know some people need their phone to charge like overnight, like if you're out and I try and plug it in a little earlier or plug it in first thing when you wake up, turn it on, you should have enough time, get a little car charger, you can do that too. Really just kind of seeing the impact you're having and just paying attention to what you're doing. I really do think the most important part in all of that I'm doing is really paying attention to the trash and junk that I'm getting and then throwing away. Um, my city is actually really good at recycling. They recycle pretty much everything. They also recycle the pla like plastic, so like grocery bags. Ideally, I like to bring my own bags because it's just easier for me and I don't have plastic bags. Um, I do like some plastic bags because I have cats and they have litter and you have to deal with that somehow. Yeah, so my mission from now through, you know, the rest of March and on is to really focus on my personal environmental impact. So I'll be updating you probably weekly. So this is going to be posted on the first, so Wednesday. So every week on Wednesday, I come back, check out my progress. I'll have other tips and ideas and tricks and stuff I've done well, stuff I've just failed at. Um, so we can work together. Let me know if you want to join me as well. I'm more than welcome. I love it. As many people as I can get in on this together would be great. Um, just a little, and again, little choices. If it's not buying something because it's packaged, but you know, something like the fruits and veggies I get, I love Aldi, but one of the things about Aldi is they sell things in bulk bags, which are plastic. While I have the opportunity to recycle them, most people don't, so that gets wasted. Um, and really just making those choices or buying in bulk, bringing my own bags. Really just my focus is to do little things in my daily life to help make the environment a little bit better. And hopefully if I can inspire some of you guys to join along with me, that would be well worth it. And do you do the zero waste thing? I would love to hear from you. Comment below. Let me know if you have anyone. You can link them to me. I'd love to see it. Get some more ideas. I've been going around the YouTubes. I have a couple different people I've seen that I'll probably link below as well. Maybe at the end of this video just so you can kind of see the no waste um, process and what they're doing and how they're changing their lives or change their life. So check back with me in a week, see how I've done. I, again, would love to hear from you. Subscribe if you wanna see more of this and I will see you next time. Thanks guys, bye-bye.